morning and welcome once again to our thought for the day i want to read you a verse this morning you've probably heard me read it many times and definitely i've mentioned it many times and it's from the book of joshua chapter one and it's verse five i'd like to read you today and it says this that these are wonderful words for you as you go, as you face the day that lays before you there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life as i was with moses i will be with thee i will not fail thee nor forsake thee what a promise god gives each one of us there i will not fail thee and i will not forsake thee it's god's word and god's word cannot fail not a man able to stand before you this day isn't that incredible as i was with moses you see he's the same god of moses and the god of moses is your god and mine today he hasn't changed he's the very same wonder working jesus i get a bit carried away when i speak about jesus I, I must concentrate my thoughts and so my little title this morning is simply this he cannot fail and he cannot forsake you see fear is a fact of life fear is a fact of our living and we've seen that more over these last months than perhaps we've ever imagined that we would People are fearful to go out through the door. People are fearful to touch anything. People are fearful and in, just in case they might get infected by this terrible virus that has hit our land. I want to tell you something, and I've said it before, there is something far worse than this virus that is, is our, at our hand, land. There's the virus of sin. And the virus of sin can not only kill for time, but for eternity. But you know put this virus aside and still in everyday living there is great fear there is hardly a day that will go by when we are not made aware of some terrible uh, atrocity that has taken place in our world we don't have to go to other lands even but we can go into our own cities and our own towns where we live terrible things are happening daily we turn on our tv we hear of wars and yet there is a war that goes on each day and that war is Satan himself trying to get hold of your soul. A war that goes on each day and we know that God will give us the victory. Verse 5 says, I will be with thee, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. We who love the Lord find ourselves in what the Bible describes as spiritual warfare. And the enemy threatens mass destruction. But can I tell you something, friends? God guarantees mass deliverance. Isn't that wonderful? The enemy threatens, and it is only a threat, mass destruction. But God guarantees uh, a divine deliverance and life to those who follow him. You see, our confident confidence is in the fact that he says, I will be with thee just five little words and yet our confidence must grab hold of those words i will be with thee and if god be with us who dare to be against us i love that hymn if god be with us who can be against us i love it who dare be against us if god is with us you see all our enemies however fierce they may seem however uh, how very fierce they may sound are just like those lions that were with Daniel when he was thrown into the den of lions. Those lions could do Daniel no harm. Oh, they were hungry. We know that. They, they, naturally speaking, they could have ripped Daniel apart. We know that because when the Daniel came up and was taken out, and those that threw Daniel in were thrown in, we know that they crushed their very bones. But they could do Daniel no harm, and our enemies that this uh, are in the world that would threaten us so much with their words will have their mouth closed also just like those lions you see he's not only with us but he's within us and he cannot fail us and he will never forsake us isn't that mar marvelous he cannot fail and he will not forsake god cannot fail and he will not forsake us we are a privileged people to have such a friend. He is the friend who sticks closer than a brother. He is the friend who is closer than the very mention of his name. And because he cannot fail, 
Our faith in him cannot fail also. And victory is certain and victory is guaranteed. He cannot fail or forsake. Let us not fail him. Let us not forsake him. But let us trust him each and every day. Go into the day, this day, and prove him. Prove his presence and his power. God bless you. I look forward to speaking with you the same time, the same place, tomorrow morning.